Well, our coverage continues today of Trooper Island. WIMT's Caleb Noe is camping out along with 64 kids and seven troopers. They arrived on the island yesterday and had a full day of activities, but today was the first time they actually split into groups to learn different skills through special activities. A trooper gave Caleb a tour of the island and met up with some of the campers along the way. So Trooper Island is a huge area with plenty of room for activities, and it really is an island right in the middle of Dale Hollow Lake. Yeah, we have 35 acres here, uh, plenty of room for these kids to enjoy themselves and uh, have their fun at activities. Are you ready to go check it out? Let's go. All right. Campers went through several classes Tuesday. We're going to head over to the canoeing area where the kids are actually learning water safety. We've learned how to paddle backwards and how to paddle forwards and how to stop the boat whenever we need to. We're going to head over to the archery. Uh, it's going to be a great experience for these kids because most of these have never uh, been able to do that before. We learned how to hold a bow and how to shoot a bow and arrow. A week full of learning, but there is no shortage of a good time. It's very hot out here, so we make sure these kids stay cool, so we made up a big slip and slide. Have fun. <laughs> It's really fast, and whenever you get about the middle of it, you start to hit a tree, but you don't. You just start flying down there, and sometimes you get even turned around backwards. So you can see the kids are already out having a good time, and hey, it's only day two. Oh yeah, we're having a great time. We're already seeing kids' lives being changed. You want to hit the canoe? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. At Trooper Island, Caleb No, WYMT Mountain News. Uh, looks like they're having a good time. Coming up tonight at 6, watch as the kids wake up to blue lights and sirens, one of the camp's unique annual traditions.